Okay, Peter Rabbit. So remember, we were in this book. Beatrix Potter wrote the book. Charles Santor has been doing the illustrations. Now, I was over on this page, but the ears are already done here. So I'm going to switch. I had saved a page with his ears not colored yet. I'm just going through and doing this right through in order. There we go. I thought that would be a good one because it shows one in the front, one in the back. And there's Peter. I'm hoping this clipboard will help me to stay on the page. So let's just worry about his front half tonight. Also, if you're so inclined, cross the top of your screen, go to the About part, and there's a place where you can actually make a donation. I would love to collect all the books where Charles is the illustrator. I just uh, fallen in love with his stuff. Don't know if it's because he's got a granddaughter now or what, but I just love it. All right, I am using... The Arteza. This is, I have 83 on there. Yep, yeah, see, part of it's already rubbed off. So it's 83. And it's just a very pale pink. Then I've gone over to 26, which is peony, but it's a, just a little bit of a brighter pink. And then I'm going to go to. Coyote, which is 111. Then next is Cocoa, which is 36. And then Dark Chocolate, which is 118. Now for the ears, I'm using these three. So my lightest pink, my bright pink, and then the Coyote. The reason for that is, as I come through here and see I'm holding back on my pencil, not down here because I don't want to get too hard yet. I want to keep it light. So I hold further back and it keeps me from pushing too hard. Because if I push hard now, I'll just snap the lead off. Okay? So I'm going to come through here and I'm coming into this shaded area some. Okay? And that's part of what I'm loving about these books now that I've actually done this one. I think I'm due to get a book on Tuesday. It's the Christmas one. And I went ahead, now I'm changing pinks. I went ahead and ordered it to come in because there was only a few left. So, but other than that, I'm really trying not to get a whole lot of books. Um, I'm trying to wait till birthdays and stuff to see if maybe I'll get some of them from family. So, I have a birthday in April, so that's a good time for everybody to chunk something my way. <laughs> so, I am very excited. I have a package coming from France, and it's going to be the alcohol markers that are put out by Coloria. They are actually coming to the United States with their... I think it's the alcohol markers that are coming now, and they've requested that I do a video on that. So I'm going to have to learn to use alcohol markers real quick. Okay, so there's those two pinks. All right, now I'm going to change over to the coyote. So, yeah, my pencil sharpener kind of ate the pencil. I don't know what's going on, but the lead's still in there, so I'm, I'm good. Now, I'm gonna. did you see? I went from here to going ahead and scooting up on the pencil some. I need a little bit more control here. Now, as I color this in, you can see how that color is just laying down, and you wouldn't normally think of blending into pink with a brown, but I really did some looking around on the pictures that are in the books where they're already colored 
and it does have some browning on there. And we used to raise rabbits when my children were little. And I will tell you, even on a white rabbit, there's very little that is going to stay all white. They just, the yellow, and it's from being in the sun. So, and he is not a white rabbit, but he does have white areas. So, and see, I'm fading that out to nothing. But then right here where this is tucked around behind his head, I'm going to go ahead and do that just to help push it behind his head some. And then I'm going to add here, just because it goes into that white some, and then I'm leaving a lot of this white. And then on the face, you're going to notice we're going to leave his little muzzle area and around the eye in white. But the more I color this style book, the easier it becomes. Now this is the back of the ear. The back of the ear, according to their illustrations, is not white. So I have started doing this technique or this coloring pattern, way of laying the color down on all the pages through the book that show Peter Rabbit, okay? So that way I have a uniform story going on. And I'm going into that blue just a little because that's where his little tuft of hair is hanging over the jacket. So, all right, hey, winter storms are over. We were able to go out and find food right away. We had a couple of leaks, but no breaks. And the leaks were things that I was able to fix. So very thankful for that. Um, yeah, that was quite the snow we got here in Texas. I'm trying to remember if I've even done a video since then or if the video was before. I think the video was after. But, yeah, we did eventually get out and go shopping. Um, I think my son and his wife had to check two or three different stores a couple of different days before they could find milk for our granddaughter. So she has changed over from formula to milk a little while back. She's, uh, let's see, she was born in December a year ago. So she's, what, like 14 months now? Something like that. So, yeah. Ooh, and it's thundering here now. I know we're supposed to get a big storm. Hopefully we won't lose electricity. We never lose electricity. And then that snowstorm hit. My daughter still doesn't have hot water. She's having to go to different people's places for showers and all that stuff. Yeah, it's it's booming out there right now. So, hopefully we'll get to keep going through this. Okay, I'm not going to go on down any further. I'm going to do just this here. Just because if we do lose electricity. Ugh. Anyway, so... Now I'm changing to my lighter brown color. Now this is not going to look so light once it goes on. But I'm going to concentrate on the areas that are down in the V's, like down in here. Because that would all be a little bit darker. Then it would get lighter as I come out. But I don't want this yellowy color for his main body color. So I do end up going over it in all my pictures. Okay? But it still has a little of that other where it comes through here that I don't go over. So that's why it's on there. Plus it's layering colors. The more you layer your colors, the more depth you're going to get. And you can see, I really am laid back with these. I'm not trying to stay overly neat. 
it is pretty sloppy, but um, it works out well. Works out well. I don't know if y'all can hear that booming thunder or not. Probably not. And then this is behind his ear, so I want to get that in there. And then this is behind his head, so we're going to be sure and get that in. And see, this part I'll probably leave just a little bit lighter, this part, and it'll coordinate better with this. So I'll come up in there some, but then I'll leave it. Get all that in. Yeah, we went from snow to 70 or 80 degree weather, upper 70s. And now, all of a sudden, we're in for storms and probably some flash flooding for the next few days. <laughs> it's Texas. What can I say? It's Texas. But yeah, so if you've got any of these books, don't feel like you have to keep it super neat. Um, you can see how I'm going jaggedy more than I'm going in circles now that I'm in this area and this just allows it to look a little bit more like fur. Okay, so just get that color in there. Okay, then I'm going to go to my darkest. I'm going to come down in here and I'm going to really get that darker. Is this the darkest? Nope, I didn't pick up the right color. This is the darkest, yes. And that's another thing. This book seems to be able to take a lot of color. I can layer and layer on this, and it seems that it just keeps accepting the pencil. So even though it's the pages are pretty smooth on it, it still um, really takes a lot of color. And I find the pencils don't leave a lot of those little valleys, those little pitted areas in the paper. They're fairly easy to cover. So, you see, I'm going to get darker, darker back in here the further I go back. So all those little lines that were here before are like my guidelines. Okay, so if you've got any of these books, um, yeah, I think they're I think they're going to be fun. They're they're very easy. You don't have to be real precise. They're more sketches than drawings, so I feel like that gives us a little bit of leeway with our coloring. It's not like we're doing one of those pages with all the little bitty parts that you feel like you have to stay in the lines and all that. Okay, and then you just finish working this out. So at this point, if we lose power, I'll upload it later. But it's enough that you're able to see what I've done. So, anytime you're doing fur, just do keep it choppy. Keep that choppiness in there. Don't try to do real smooth. Okay, now I'm going to stand up and look through the camera and see what you see. That's another thing, too. Um, if you'll look through a camera or through a, uh, take it to a mirror, or look at it upside down, which is what I'm doing right now, um, it will point out things easier that you've missed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull it up while we still have power. And I'm going to do his feet. Now, I have been leaving some white on his feet, but not a lot. So this is that coyote color. 
that color that I base coated most of his body with. And then I'm going to get lighter and lighter. Okay. If the weather's not too bad, I'm going to try to make a run to Azel Art tomorrow. It is a store. There's one in Plano and one in Richardson. And they sell art supplies, but they sell a lot of pencils individually. So I believe they carry both the polychromo and the, come on y'all, what am I thinking of? The wax pencil Prismacolor. I think they carry both. So I'm going to be headed over there tomorrow if the weather's not real bad. I changed to the darker color now. And um, I will try to see if they'll let me shoot some video in the store because they do have an online presence. I'm not sure how their shipping or anything is. Oh, that was big thunder. It was a big boom. But um, anyway, I'm gonna, I haven't been over there in probably two years. So I wanna go over and just um, see what all they've still got. All right, back to my coyote again. Just doing all this, getting that color in. Again, these books, because they're sketched artwork, You don't have to worry about every little thing being so smooth. His tail is white, but I'm going to do just right here, just that little bit. And I know you can barely see it. That's what I want. I want it just barely there. Just barely colored. A little bit under the bottom here. And then we'll do this. Another thing with these books, if you're a beginner in shading, all these lines give you a good hint on where you're going to be doing some shading. Okay? So that's helpful. Now I'm going to color number two. Let's see, I'm going to come through here and blend into that other color. And then I'll come in with the darkest and blend in again. And see how that makes that look like it's tucked down under now. Okay, back to my second color. Same thing here. I'll make this come out some. And then down in there. A little bit here. Just to give it some shading and shadow from down underneath and then across here but yeah always use the lines as a help when the artist has put those lines in there don't work a, don't work against them i was trying at first to hide all those lines like in here with the jacket do you remember the video before this and I finally got to where I was like, wait a minute, no, just go over that with the pencil. Let it, let it work for me. Don't try to work against it. And then lighter as I come out. Okay, see how easy it's going? And this around here is probably going to be some shadow. So I'm probably going to make all this area darker than what this is because this is out in full light and this is being shadowed by his jacket and by the rest of the fence. So I'll come in here and just go ahead and get some color on there real quick. Just real quickly. You can't even hardly see it. Can't even hardly. Boy, is that Texan or maybe it's just sloppy talk. <laughs> 
All right. Then I'm going to stand it up, put some of those messy lines in here, get some fur strokes in. Just follow the lines that are already there. This is going to be so helpful for beginners if you've got any of these books. Just follow the lines. It's going to show you where your shading is. Now I do want darker up under here. So I'm going to really deepen that. See how that's kind of casting a shadow down there? Same thing up on this side. See how it's like a shadow now? And then up in here, because his thigh or his leg is hunched up over his back. So we do need that bit of shading there. And then all this is a little bit darker. Okay, last color, the darkest one now. And again, if you miss those colors, just, you know, just go back to the front of the video. This is so easy for y'all. It's not like you're watching on a DVD or a VCR tape. It's just a little rewind bit and you're there. If I can remember at the end, I will show you what I'm doing in the back of this book that is going to be very helpful should I ever need to go back and work on something some more. Because, you know, sometimes you find something that you missed and you're like, oh, man, i got to go back and fix that. What color was I using? Well, I'm actually using a spot in the back of the book. Just made something up to where I can add in my colors as I go. And it's working really well. All right. So there we go. Not hard. So it took time. Yeah, it was 22 minutes. But that's not bad, huh? Not just for getting it on there real quick so I could show you. Now, let me show you in the back what I'm doing. I'm actually writing down all the colors that I've used on the different areas. And see, it does come with some color photos of the original artwork. But yeah, so you can see I've done his inside of his ears on all the pictures. And that's actually the picture I'm on now. All of these, he's already finished. So, I'm going to go through and finish that in all of them. And that cat's going to be fun. Not sure what color I'm going to do that cat. But I've got to finish doing his body in all these. And then I'll flip back through and I'll probably start in on things like the vegetables and things that need to be specific colors. And then I'll see what's left, and that's what will denote, like, the color of the pail or the color of the pots. Now, there was one area, if I can find it, there it is, right here. Let's blow that up. Do you see how the foot line and the pot overlap? So it was up to me. I could either put, like, his foot was in front and I could go ahead and color all this in the brown, or I could put the pot in front and color over this with the pot color. I decided because this twig is in front that the pot was also gonna be in front. So I won't make that pot white because of all that other color that's down there. I will probably do it like a, a rust color something that's going to help cover this. Now I could go over that with some white paint or something, but when I do, it's still going to leave just a little bit of difference. 
So that's something I'm going to have to work on yet. But anyway, there's that book. Um, other than that, I got nothing else to share right now. Y'all have a good, safe weekend. And I will see you sometime soon-ish. I hope. <laughs> Bye.